Well, good morning. Here is a 2022 plated Urban Tough 17.6. I think the brochure will actually say 18 foot in a rear door, but 17.6, 18 foot, somewhere there. Uh, this is sort of your yeah, entry level off roader in the Urban series. So the frame and that, uh, the wall construction is pretty much the same as a X-Terrain or Extreme. The only one that's slightly different is the Tura, obviously to make it lighter and price point. So obviously, yeah, you get the full RHS TIG welded alloy frame, and then you do get the fiberglass inner walls with this one as well. This is a, a cool little model, so it's got the, uh, this one's got the ARV Extreme suspension, so it goes to 2.7 tonne. It's a pretty good thing when the van only comes in. I think it's about 2200, but we'll have a look at that in a second. And nice uh, colors on the outside. So the main re reason for this video today, this one's up for grabs. Not very often you get a brand new Urban on the floor that can go straight away. So this one's getting replaced shortly with a new stocky. So this one has been listed. Boss man has told me she can go. So it's base model spec. Uh, no added extras or anything like that. Of course, you do get compressor fridge, you get uh, 420 solar, you get the two 120 AGMs, and then it's also lithium compliant straight off the bat. So if you want to do a lithium drop-in, we can do that and change the BM Pro and off you go, lithium happy as well. You chuck another panel on the roof as well if you want to. So let's double check these weights as discussed. So yeah, 2264. As your tear and your ATM, this one's actually set to 2673, so close enough to 2700. So obviously it's got a nice big space in the drawbar here. You've actually got room to put something else there if you wanted a stone guard, or you could actually fit something else there if you wanted to, to be honest with you, because it does have a sideboard jockey wheel on it. Obviously the DO35 coupling as well. So the uh, bar lights um, on the front, which is handy for hookups. Of course, this is also on the roof. You've got the one-piece fiberglass roof up there as well. Full tunnel boot all the way through. There's your little pin there, ready to rock and roll. Gas plane out under there, of course. I'll climb under here and give you a little peek. So yeah, as you can see, twin shocks, so they're a pitted shock. Big fan of the uh, ARV suspension too because it's uh, these shocks are available all the way around the country. And of course, if I pan up here, you can have a look. You can see that fiberglass floor as well. So, yeah, very nice tank guards on all your tanks. This has got two uh, 95s on it, um, as well as a grey tank too. There's the other tank there. So yeah, the the tough is the only one the range that doesn't have the flat floor in the uh, off-road so this one doesn't have the recess chassis but you know it's still more than capable obviously it's a price point thing too so she keeps the price down nice looking rims too to go with the blue decals as well picnic table on the outside this has got the newer infinity speakers on it as well with the lights on them they actually sound fantastic as well I'm a music guy, so I like the sound quality. This has got the upmake, uh, the upmarket door too, the newer model. So it's got the full pull down line in the track, which is so much better than the rolling one. And on the back, you got the spare there, and the uh, forearm bumper as well, which is nice. So you can add some, you know, another small box to that if you wanted to as well, carry wood or something like that. Anyway, let's jump in and have a look. Nice glowing lights, which is cool. So big two-door compressor fridge. She's actually just sitting there paring away. Kind of cool, it's got these new little sliding tabs in these Dometic fridges here, so you can slide them back and yeah, keep all your favorite dips not flying around the place. Fridge on there too. So yeah, this one, as I said, it's up for sale. So 106 really well priced for a van that you can pretty much take wherever you want it's got the old uh, washing machine on the wall there kind of reminds me of that movie Wally 
think. Got that funny looking, yeah, decent size. Cram it in there. I think it's still a three kilo. There's your toilet. You got little towel spots there to put towels in, which is good. And drawers. It's a good thing. Obviously, one piece molded shower, standard sort of stuff. So this has got the later fitment of the switches at the door to operate the outside floodlight. So you got one switch to switch them on and then another one you flick and flick and then it changes to the orange. I can see it flashing out here. Give you a look. So you see that one's on the half side there. So it's good in emergencies and stuff. It's actually not a bad feature to have. So if you pulled over on the side of the road, you got a flat tire or something, you can actually put that on and it's Almost, you know, I can say a safety feature. It's a good thing to have. So L-shaped seat. This has got the uh, the drop-down table too. And then a cool feature with the drawers. Everyone loves these with Urbans. Great for all right, board games, shoes, whatever you want. And then you've got the cushion that sits on top of that as well. So like I said, you can drop that down and make a little bed for a friend if you've got someone coming with you. Uh, Ibis 4 Air, of course, decent quality windows in Urban. You've got the uh, the midi proof screens. A lot of people don't know. It's practically shivers. I think there's six different variants of windows. You can often tell the, the quality of a van just from looking at the window. Cool jack, dual gas struts on your cupboards, and then you've got the metal clips on your overhead, so you've got that smooth finish on the outside. Ibis 4 Air, and this is, of course, it's all fiberglass. No ply, all one piece. Um, you got a little pressure hatch there, so it's sort of a manual version of a, a dust reduction system. It does actually work quite well. Um, you know, it lifts up and it's on an angle like that, so the air pushes and then shoots inwards. So it's actually a good, it's a good thing to have. Got the cubby holes down there with your uh, switches in there, and you got your uh, socket there and your USB and a 12 volt as well. Full padded bed head, which is nice. Um, this has also got the later stereo TV system in it. People either love this or hate this. I don't mind it. I think it's all right. No, it must be disconnected. So, um, yeah, it's got like a, it's an Android tablet as such. So you can do a lot with it. You can put a SIM card in it. You can, uh, you know, it's got satellite uh, connection. So you can look at maps on it as well. These can be stuck up here once you peel the stickers off. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a kind of neat little thing. Obviously the cables, so you got a little nook in here to put your cables in, so you can actually feed your cables out of your plug, straight out of there, so that's nice and neat and tidy as well. So panning around, I'll show you the kitchen. So stepping in it, you wouldn't know you weren't standing in a 19 footer, to be honest with you. Urban's done a really good job with this layout. You wouldn't think you were sitting in a single axle, so, you know, plenty of room, look at all that bench space. Filtered water, of course, as well. Big banks of drawers. And then your L-shaped seating. So that, that table, I mean, you moved whichever way you want. You can swing it around over here if you want and use it as prep area in a kitchen. So yeah, this one is ready to go. Buy it straight off the floor. We can have it ready for you. I would say just before Easter. Hello. Just before Easter, we should have it ready to go. Um, as long as you don't want too many extras for the tour. Pan around here and get a nice overview. The whole van. So yeah, shoot me a message, guys. Obviously, I work at Great Southern RV. Um, access to four different brands. And I've got a lot of stock. I'm holding almost... I think 40 different models in stock, bunk vans, hybrids. I've got two armor lights in stock. If someone wants an armor light before Easter, I've got one. Multiple colors. So yeah, shoot me a PM. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm trying to get some more uh, viewers on the channel. I'm gonna do some uh, educational videos as well soon on each of the different models to show you how certain things work. If anyone's got any requests, um, let me know and I can you know, run tutorials and stuff like that. Hope you have a fantastic day.